Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, thanks for visiting us here at Artist Journeys. I um, wanted to share with you a really cool eBay find that I had. I'd seen in a couple of the YouTubers had these neat little watercolor palettes. They look like they were just on paper and they fold it open and you can use them on the go. And I have a vacation coming up soon and I wanted to maybe get something similar and I was on eBay where I frequently look for vintage art supplies or things to fill, um, you know, my pastel palette and things of that nature. And these kept popping up. And I thought, oh, look, it's a little knockoff version. So the company is called Meden, M-E-E-D-E-N. I'd never heard of them, uh, but they were showing a pack of 42 of these portable watercolors and... I was like, ah, it's $14 free shipping. Why not? I'll give it a try. It'll be good for portability. And this is not at all flat paper. What you'll see is it comes with a water brush, which I did not get to try because the brush dip seemed pretty coarse. Um, but as you can see, it came with not just flat little sheets of watercolor paper, but actual watercolor pans so you can see there's some dimension to them some thickness and was actually surprised at how creamy the colors were when i was um picking up picking them up with water it didn't take a lot to activate them and i could get pretty dark pigment really quickly i would have absolutely no idea what the light fastness is again i've never heard of the brand meeton i don't know if they're known you know overseas but uh, as you can see, the colors are very vibrant, and I'm working on Vision right there, which is not cotton paper, so watercolor tends to act a little bit less predictable, but I'll say I practiced uh, lifting even after swatching everything here. I played around with swatching things, I played around with um, the lifting of the colors, uh, and I even played with blending and doing you know, wet and wet washes where you drop color into puddles of water. And I played around a lot on this same sheet of paper, but I didn't show it all just to keep the length of the video down. And uh, pleasantly surprised by how versatile they were. So you see, I have all the colors fanned out there and uh, I erased a little rough and damaged the paper here. So just disregard that big smoosh up to the right. So the Signo Extra Fine um, point brush tip pen I just got in my art snacks and that's the marker I'm using right now it is a water soluble marker and I love it I am looking around for a full set of these I do see them on sale right now uh, at Blick for like $48 I'm kind of keeping an eye on I'm hoping maybe they'll go on sale somewhere these extra extra fine tip brushes which I have an art snacks review where I did use them and uh, it's gonna be my June 2019 unboxing, boxing, <laughs> hang on. And this pen is so versatile. I'm using it to outline, and I know that seems weird to outline an orange, but um, it just adds a really nice artistic touch. It makes the painting I'm doing very painterly. Orange is a very good contrasting color with blue, uh, since it's across from each other on the color wheel. And this ballerina is actually wearing blue in the reference photo that I took. And uh, this is actually a ballerina that I got to see live. She was posing at the St. Augustine Leitner Museum. There was an event. They had uh, the Edgar Degas uh, exhibit going on. And uh, several planar painters, of which I am part of a group of planar painters, were invited to come paint this ballerina live while people walked around the mezzanine of the Leitner Museum. And I took advantage of the opportunity and also took tons of reference photos to maybe do additional paintings down the road, but I did end up doing a um, plein air of her standing there, which was an amazingly fun night and a really great opportunity. And again, it was just part of being a group, uh, being part of a, a local group which I touch on in some of my other videos about how you should join local artist groups, find a medium that you want to learn more about or you're mediocre at, 
and just dive in. People of all levels are always willing to accept uh, budding artists and I have learned so much from my plenary group and so much from my pastel society group. But um, if you want to learn more about that, then I always recommend you know checking out some of my other videos. I do discuss a lot more uh, in some of my longer videos about how I got in with my plenary groups. And pretty much it's like an annual membership fee, 35 bucks a year, and you just get a myriad of resources, the best resources being that you actually get to be part of exhibits because usually the group as a whole is invited to be part of exhibits. And there's usually people dedicated into the plein air group who are con continuously seeking out opportunities, continuously seeking out uh, places for the group to exhibit. And just by being part of the group, you get to exhibit. So it just helps overcome your fear. Um, it gives you some sort of goal to paint towards, which helps keep me motivated because sometimes I just don't want to paint. <laughs> but if I know that I'm going to be maybe potentially uh, aiming for a show with a due date, then that will kind of kick my butt into gear <laughs> into painting. Um, but anyway, uh, I really enjoyed this pack. Um, so far, the only place I've seen them for sale is on eBay. So I'm not even sure they were listed under a brand name. It was just portable watercolor palette. And um, that, that is uh, about the most I can say about the brand itself. Because again, I've never heard of them. Um, but the colors layered over beautifully. They, they did predict or work predictably. Uh, I'm using for the painting itself. Uh, if I didn't mention it before, I'm using B paper, which is 100% cotton. And it is one of the few 100% cotton papers you can get at, say, Michael's. And uh, they sell them in these little, I think, I want to say like 6x8 or 5x7 packs. I can't remember. Which is the perfect size for little paintings like this. It's just enough to keep me motivated. Um, not turned off by the fact that I have to do a big painting. Uh, and even if I want to do a really detailed painting, it's not so cumbersome to do one that's uh, this size. And when you use your 40% off coupon, it's actually pretty reasonable, a little pack. I think you end up paying maybe like $9 for a pack of the paper. And it's, I want to say it's a pack of like 30 pieces. So I highly recommend those. The B paper again, and just look for that 100% cotton. And using the cotton does help watercolor stay more predictable. And um, I know predictable is kind of a really weird word to use with watercolor. But it, it makes it uh, behave in a much more, oh, let me think of the way, a oh, better word than predictable. It just behaves in a way you, you want it to sometimes. So if you're trying to do a wash, uh, if you have a color that the water sits on top of the surface and doesn't try to absorb, when it sits on top for too, too long, it doesn't absorb, then it does not... Um, it starts leaving those little puddles where the edges of the water leave those little sharp edges. And it, you want the water to sit, the, the, the pigment to sit on top of the paper for a little bit just while you get a wash even and blend it out. But then once you have that, it should, for the most part, remain somewhat stationary and then start to soak into the paper much more evenly. Um, anyway, I am uh, trying to show the whole palette here. And again, if you want to see all the colors that came in it, you can pause where I swatched it on the earlier screen. But I had a really good time with these. I was able to picture myself bringing these out in a very uh, easy to carry format. So I will probably bring these on my vacation. Uh, they didn't take up too much room at all. I do have some water brushes that I trust. Again, I don't know if I'll use the one that they supplied, but that little nook that it came with, I'm sure will work just fine, even if it's just to kind of carve, it, carve out space. Um, so I'm going to let you watch the video for the time being, and um, hopefully you enjoy. Thanks so much.
Thanks so much again, guys, for stopping by to watch my video. Uh, if you've made it this far, please don't forget to hit the like button below. It means a lot to an emerging YouTube artist. Uh, I love sharing my work with you, and I would love to take any requests, so feel free to comment below. Um, and let me know what you think of these. If you want to go get a set on eBay, again, they're super cheap. They're all over the place. You can get them with less colors for even cheaper, believe it or not. But I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. I do hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks again for stopping by the artist journey. I look forward to seeing you next time.